What's up, Zox fam? We're back with some more dislike. Guys, make sure you do not summon today. No summons. If you already did, it's okay. If you still got some, just save it. You're not going to see a summon video from me today. Um, and that is because of the Divinate system uh, that's going to be coming into the game, okay? Now, I want to dive into this, the uh, exact thing that this is going to be affecting as far as the gotcha, uh, how free to play friendly versus pay to win this system is going to be. Um, and just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a better idea of what this is, now that I can talk a little bit more about it now that they posted it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. OK, but make sure you stop summoning. All right. So we're going to actually go through the Divinate um, PTR server system introduction. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, this here is the Divinate overview. So Divinate is a new Esper growth system. OK, so once an Esper has ascended, ascended to six star, not rezoed. I know a lot of you guys were mentioning, oh, it's going to be based off of rezos and dupes. It's just going to, no, it's based off of your ascension. So again, unit needs to be ascended six star. Uh, you then can take advantage of the system. So players can unlock the divinate feature for that Esper. Uh, divinate captures the divine waves of an Esper by preserving moments of their life through equipping and upgrading an Esper's divinate. Players can imbue the Esper with new ability mechanics and attribute bonuses and i'm gonna show you what that means okay uh so thereby enhancing the esper's combat abilities and or discovering a new role for them now uh with that they further go to say why are they doing this so in the current esper growth systems the primary source of enhancement for espers is equipment which is a true bottleneck uh so along with the basic growth factors like leveling up star promotions and ascension however the significant randomness associated with the equipment leads to prolonged growth uh, or periods of growth particularly in acquiring attribute boost from equipment during the mid game phase taking up to a month or more uh, we want to and, and really it's more than that it's not a month I've been playing for almost two years <laughs> so we want to offer a reliable predictable and a long-term growth system that aids players in overcoming any progress bottlenecks this thinking has led us to the inception of the divinate system now with the divinate system so as far as your sources divinate can be obtained through echo using gold records and divinate echo drop rates for legendary and epic espers remain unaffected so uh, or sorry while the drop rates for legendary and epic espers remain unaffected now what exactly does this mean this means that the divinate is actually so what they're doing uh, the drop rate for rare espers will be significantly decreased okay uh, the original drop rate of rare espers will now be inherited by legendary epic and rare divinate players can acquire designated esper divinate in up to 100 Divinate Echo spins uh, and can get a ton of Divinate discs by challenging Falsetto Fantasy. So the thing with this is that the only way that you can inherently um, pull for these Divinate discs is either by doing Falsetto Fantasy and or using gold records. Now, the thing is, is that if you're using gold records, it doesn't necessarily guarantee that you're going to be getting the Divinate for a Esper that you have. Like, say, you're like, oh, all the wells are going to just be trying to go for Tever. Well, they're going to be spending a crap ton, and I mean a crap ton of money to make that happen. There's nothing that's given them a target unit um and the only way that like i said that you're going to be able to pull these to begin with is if you actually have it unlocked for the character uh so the divinate update bonuses so the union has prepared ample startup resources so they're going to be giving us um when they decide or finalize so this could vary um depending on how the system is implemented um this could either be more um it would either be a minimum of this if not more all really depends on what we say after we test it out um, but they will be sending 7,000 Divinate discs to all level 5 plus players. Furthermore, to compensate for the adjustments made to the rewards completing story stages, we will be sending players up to a maximum of 22,400 discs. Now, one Divinate Echo Spin consumes 100 Divinate discs. Okay, so that's quite a big number that's just quite a bit so again we will see how that's going to work because again i'm assuming you might need some dupes and stuff and i'll show you guys some of the pictures with this because this is my first time seeing some of these things but i will break these down as well as best as i can um but then they further go to say adjustments to the ecosystem so the demonate system comes online some changes to the ecosystem will come into effect the guaranteed or the current guaranteed legendary esper that pulls after 100 echoes will remain unchanged as will the one percent rate for legendary espers in the nine percent pull rate for epic espers that is not changing in the gotcha okay uh so what they're doing 
is the pour rate for rare espers will change from 90% to 40%. While Divinate will pull at a rate of 1% for Legendary Esper uh, Divinate, 9% for Epic Esper Divinate, and 40% for Rare Esper Divinate. So in addition to these changes, uh, an additional guarantee has been added with either an Epic Esper or Epic Esper uh, Divinate pulling every 10 pulls. Espers say goodbye to those Sapphire disc okay so the thing is is that this is going to be significantly reducing the amount of blue pulls that we get this is also going to be making it to where every 10 pulls now mind you before it was every 20 pulls so this means every 10 pull you get, you're doing you're either guaranteed an epic esper or an epic esper divinate now the thing about this that's important is that that's going to make you make your characters so much more stronger on the like overall long run of the amount of pulls, because imagine if this was still like every 20 pulls, then you're guaranteed an epic esper or epic or epic divinate. So it kind of balances itself out with the new system so that you're either getting an esper or a divinate, right? Um, and like I said, that's going to be helpful considering that this is going to significantly make these characters more valuable. All right. Now I'm really excited about this next part because this kind of shows the divinate upgrade info. Okay. So the way that this is going to work, the divinate will not not only provide bonuses to Esper's attack, HP, and defense, but it will also introduce special mechanics to the Esper. So for example here, this is just, again, this could be changed, who knows, but it's one that's being shown for Ophelia. So uh, it says Ophelia Divinate. Um, so when the enemy's HP is below 100%, Elegant Strikes final damage is plus 30% is the skill. But most importantly, you see that there's some base stat values here, um, and it's going to be out of 30 levels. Now it says, let's take uh, Ophelia's divinate so it says as an example when her enemy's remaining hp falls below a certain percentage elegant strikes final damage will receive an extra boost now uh it says it further enhances ophelia's ability to take out enemies when facing enemies with low hp she has a greater chance of securing a kill now this is just like one of the potential things that i got i guess they would be adding and you know probably would have been better to show of you know lower rarity but hey it is what it is uh now it says to enhance divinate you will need sound matrix stones these stones have absorbed miracle waves from within the miracle rift and hold the power to boost divinate so this is something that i'm assuming is going to be coming from the falsetto fantasy so it says however they are closely guarded by the bosses residing in the rift you must defeat the bosses to obtain sound uh, matrixes stones uh, by consuming these stones you can amplify the attributes provided by divinate this enhancement will bestow attribute bonuses upon espers with the max enhancement of reaching level 30 okay uh, so then further goes to say upon acquiring duplicate divinates, the excess will be converted into divinate residue, which can be used to raise the divinates tier. So when the unit's HP now going for below 50% is now below 70%, it offers a 25% increase instead of a 20 percent right so again you're seeing how that changed from the very first one which i think was tier three so uh when the enemy's hp is below 100 percent, that's literally one percent it could be 99 percent is going to strike that right so we're hoping to see more abilities like this especially some really good ones on the lower rarities now uh after that it says a divinate's tier can be raised up to five times and the first two times will provide the divinate with an enhanced level cap and a boost to the special mechanics the subsequent three times will grant attribute bonuses instead which is going to be based at bonuses okay now this is going to raise the value of three stars making them potentially more relevant and this could also make some units come to play in pvp we might see it we don't know 100 percent. we still got a lot of testing to do with this crap so now just to quickly recap on some things guys uh i just want to touch back on these things because it's really important um so dupes of divinates will work similar to rezos okay so it's just going to be essentially um you know tearing up at as you get dupes of them um, and they're going to be correlating to obviously if you have the ascension done six star ascension on a character uh, so that you can make them more powerful now every 10 pulls you're going to be guaranteed either an epic esper or an epic divinate okay uh, now to add even more to this uh, i was able to confirm with the developers uh, that there um, will not be a wish pull or event um, banners for divinates so there currently will not be any of that um, but what they will be doing is they are going to allow players to select a divinate of 
any legendary esper, including shimmers, um, as they're up divinate um, in the echo or the divinate echo. So whenever you proc that legendary in the divinate echo, because keep in mind, there is a chance for you to proc the legendary. It will be the legendary of your choice. OK, um, so this is um, the only currency uh, as well, which is the divinate. Uh, I would say the divinate disc is going to be the only currency that you have that's going to be accessible for you to even utilize on the divinate echo so again that's just something to again re-emphasize so that you understand what exactly is happening um now the other thing is too guys is that like i said before you can't buy divinate disc directly with nexus crystals it's literally going to be impossible that's at least what they've told us uh nexus crystals will not be a thing for you to be able to utilize to purchase this directly so the main ways you're going to be able to obtain this is going to be from falsetto fantasy and also from events okay so again with the events i'm pretty sure that's going to be the most free to play option i do feel like with the falsetto fantasy obviously if somebody has a super stacked um you know account they could potentially get further in that that does that's the thing i mean it, it's just going to come with the territory so i mean i'm kind of expecting that to be quite fair but we will see. Uh, so again, this is just to kind of give you guys an idea of how all of this stuff, um, you know, essentially works. Uh, now, the other thing too, I guess the last thing I could think of is that uh, Divinates uh, will not have a pity in the standard GR Echo. Uh, so that's just kind of that. But again, um, this is hopefully a better system that is going to allow us to potentially see our characters becoming a lot stronger. Um, you know, I think for me personally, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm still very like on the fence about this system we still have to test it out um so i'm not gonna sit here and say like 100 percent this is going to make the game better than it ever was um because i don't know right um i i, I really don't I, I will say for them actually taking the time to further break this down it does seem a lot better than what it initially did it just seemed like at first it was just going to come into the gotcha and it was just going to screw it all up um but it actually does seem like this could potentially balance out a lot of different things as far as how we're getting units um and i really think that again the gotcha is a foundationary thing so even though they didn't necessarily raise the rates of legendaries per se um, if we are able to get things to raise the value of the lower rarities to then make them more equivalent value hopefully the things with the five star divinates aren't so broken in fact because i mean some of these units already have ridiculous rezos so i'm hoping that these rezo uh, these divinates for the five stars um and really for the four stars more so are just as good if not better i, I really feel like that needs to be the biggest emphasis that that, hey you can give the five stars some good ones but these four stars and lower need to have some really really good ones to make them relevant in the metas so uh that's going to be pretty much that guys um again if you guys have any questions don't be afraid to ask down below like i said guys save all of your resources nexus crystal save your gr save everything guys you do not want to utilize those uh right now i, I know nora's on banner i know a lot of you guys probably want nora um if you have the wish stones then you probably can wish stone for her um but if outside of that you don't have them guys i would save it right now this is the worser state of the uh gr banner um you do not want to pull on it I, I promise you you don't if you have a crap ton of nexus crystals or grs you want to utilize those when this is implemented so we might be going into another save phase like we did way back when the rezo system was implemented but I'm going to be joining in on you guys with that. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's going to be pretty much that, guys. Um, you know, again, let me know what you guys think. Everyone stay blessed and yeah, stay charged up.